Hello Donuts, today we will be watching most unhinged British kids TV shows, number two. You're trapped! And as this video goes on, you know the score, the more unhinged the TV shows get. Today, Jake oh the my Snake God, joins the, the patrol. Prank patrol. His mission, this to become so a martial arts machine that will generate enough power to light up the Northern Hemisphere. Basically, if you've never seen this, someone would come on the show, like, wanting to prank the friend who knows nothing about it, and then, like, Barney and these ninjas would, like, help him to pull it off. It was such a good show. Oh, my God, I used to love it. Here they come, they're on a roll. Well, they'll strike nobody, no. Nostalgia! It's running through me veins. I can feel it. Barney and the ninjas are... Oh. How did Barney find like ninjas? Like how do you just find a ninja? Never mind one, two. Two for the price of one. Meet Jake Woods, one of our youngest pranksters to date. Jake is an active and creative nine-year-old from Newcastle who loves nothing. Oh, okay, Jake. He's from he's from Ends. Ends. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> no. Sing, dance, and act. Oh, okay, it's Charlie Chaplin. I was thinking it was something else there. Jake's favourite hobbies is going to karate. He's been doing this for two years and is a green belt, which in my book... You've been doing this for two years and you're only a green belt. <laughs> Fucking pussy. Fuck Jake. <laughs> Jake Woods. I'm sorry, right, but is it not a bit odd that there's a man in a van with two masked people coming to collect a child. Nobody ask any questions about this. Definitely find him. That's him. What's that, the pedoscope? Let's go get it. Jake Woods. Yeah. Right, if anyone comes up to me in the street, like bounces towards us, like they're, they're on a hopper or a spring, I'm sprinting or they're getting one to the face. Would you like to make your dream prank come true? You bet. And congratulations, you are the newest member of the prank patrol. You're gonna need to put this on. I know this is all planned and I'm just joking, but when I was a kid, I seriously believed that like, this would happen. Like sometimes I would be walking down the street with like my grandparents being like, oh no, I hope Barney and the ninjas don't capture me. That is your pastor prank. Dad, we're gonna need him for a couple of hours, is that all right? No problem. Mum, give us a cuddle. Oh. All right. Jake, we've got lots to do, follow me. Wow, this is the friendliest pervert that I've ever seen. By the way, if you would ever like, like if there's any show in these videos that we do, uh, that you'd like me to do a full video on, just let me know in the comments. I'm gonna do one on Grizzly Tales for Gruesome Kids soon. Subscribe, guys, so you don't miss it. This show was so good. Do you remember the Slammer? This was so good. I act this was actually one of my favourite shows. This has unlocked a memory. Basically, what I think, just from remembering, this show was like all these people were like prisoners and they used to perform for children. The person who won like the talent show got to leave. This is another one that the concept's absolutely mental. I remember watching this show as a child, being like, "Wow, I really want to go to prison." Um, how do I get to prison? The morning post has arrived, sir. Ah! Yeah, mostly junk mail, I'm afraid. Well, there's just time to read one before today's freedom show. Is that? This is actually wild that they're just, like, cosplaying as, like, prisoners and cards. That's just mental. <laughs> this is actually wild. I used to love this. Can you see why I wanted to go to prison when I was younger now? I was like, prison's great. They've got talent shows in there. We don't have talent shows out here. This is so funny that I believe this. I was like, wow. Like, the prisoners, did they, the Mom, did you know that prisoners in, in, in prison just uh, rollerblade all day? Oh, oh the, yeah, okay. If you're in trouble and you need someone to help you out. It's a shame koalas have chlamydia in real life. Koalas are really cute, but ever since I learned that they're, they're carrying uh, sexually transmitted diseases, it kind of put us off them. They kind of become less cute when they realise they can make you itchy. The Koala Brothers! Frank! Master! You've got to help me! What was that? Please! Master! You've got to help me! Sounds like Dobby the House Elf. Look up! 
Look down, look all around For a walk, come for a ride There's so much to see So come outside I'm sorry, that... I actually... That actually made me feel emotional. What the hell? I act, uh, like I know this is a bit sad, but like um Ah uh, my like my um my granddad passed away last year and uh, I always used to watch this with him. Um yeah, this is this this is uh this is yeah. Stop running around <laughs> Oh this dog was me Bring this made me out. want a dog. Hello, my dears. Uh, this woman, what a queen. What a queen she was. She was so kind. All she wanted to do was just make make a dog happy. That was all this woman wanted to do. She was such a queen. And I... She had the spotty plane, man. She had the spotty plane. Oh, this show was so good. The little dog would just jump in the plane. How are... Oh. Look at her, man. Imagine just, by the way, like, what is this woman's job? Like how she just got a, a jet parked in her, in her front garden. Yeah, do you want to just take the, the jet down to Morrison's? Go to the chicken counter? Do you want to? Yeah, let's do it. Why is this woman's job? I want to know. Like imagine just taking a jet to the library to hand the books back in. Just land on top of the library, why don't you? What? Oh, not this little bell end. Sorry. Sorry. It's a bit harsh. Bernard's watch. I'm sure he had like a watch where he could like stop time. And do whatever he wanted. He found shopping was a lot easier. Yeah. And the people were frozen too. Imagine having the ability to have a little stopwatch which like makes you, you know, ma like stop time. So everyone else is still but you. And the one thing you choose to do is your shopping. Bro, bro's got a superpower. And he goes to little. What are you doing? If I could stop time, what would I do? If I could stop time, I think I would go to the Toby Carvery. And then just like stack up all the meat and just put it in a bag and then just take it home. Right? Just the carcass of the chicken just... I, but I am a fat man. That is why I do that. What a boring child. Stopping time to get golden syrup. Get a life. You don't deserve that watch, my friend. I never liked this show and that's why. This show was so good. Yes. I always wanted to be on this. I genuinely thought they filmed this in a jungle as well. It was definitely just some like, I don't know, like like a studio in Manchester. So nostalgic. The rewards are great, but the journey's gonna be tough. This some horse of these guys was so good as well. He loved it. We are the Jumping Monkeys from North Berwick. My name is Murray, team leader. Jungle skills, mission planning, swimming, oarsman. Can you imagine? Being whatever age this child is and your skills are mission planning, swimming, and Oarsman. Can you imagine that being your skill set? My skill set at 10 was like, I don't know, like I, I finished like top of the leaderboard of Modern Warfare like 3 out of 10 times. That was that was my most memorable achievement. My name is Ruri, Hawkeye, jungle skills, boat handling, computers, tactician. These these children are, are trained assassins. <laughs> I thought they were just normal kids as a child. They weren't. What child's special power is... Boat handling. Elvis is hanging yeah, so around. they would do like different challenges while these monkeys would like stop them, wouldn't they? I genuinely used to think these monkeys were real as well. Was that? I wasn't a clever child. My favourite fiver. Where's this? My muesli. My blankie. What? Why is there so many holes in the show? It's kind of freaking us out. I have that that phobia of like you know when you see too many holes and you go. Ooh. Not like you lose all power. I'm kind of losing it now. Me mic's kind of just slipping out. We had. <laughs> My career. Oh, not this band. Not this. But I, I can't hack this one. Even just that. Oh, I can't even. Oh, can't even look at. Really, I never liked Basil Brush, ever. It's just something that like. I feel like he, like he, someone just needs to chat his hard drive. Like he always just. I, we had a dis out. <laughs> He was all for the fame, Basil. It's all he wanted was the fame and followers. Like, I feel like his morals were off. Wait, is that? Ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Dave. Found it yet? No. Is that the girl off uh, 
The Basil Brush Show. <laughs> Is that the girl of Harry Potter? Do you know the one that gets, like, possessed by that, like, necklace? Well no. done. She, she did well. I'm not sure I want to. Ah! Oh, no! It's only going to have the postcard from Mum and Dad. Do you know what, right? I was I was a stupid child, but I wasn't this stupid. I was like bottom set, but this was for the people that like didn't even turn up at school. This is what Basil Brush was for. Angie, Benji, Angie, oh, Angie, Benji. Angie, this guy Benji, had something Charlie going on. Bandana. Like this guy must have got so many girls. Like imagine having a hand on your car. What? How how do you compete with that? This guy literally had a hand on his car that would do this, right? Take like, you know the 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 chav pose where they're like. He could literally, that would, it's what I would make my, <laughs> if I had this car, that's what it would do constantly, just. Hold <laughs> 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 on, hold on, is this what I think it is? Is this, ba it's Bamsuki, it's Bamsuki, okay, 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 okay. This show was the best show on telly. If there's one show that I could have died to be on, it was this one. This was the nerd paradise of shows. Bamzuki. Oh, I always wanted to be on this show. Like, I remember me and my friends would watch this and be like, oh, you, have you, what, did you watch the latest Bamzuki? I'd be like, yes. Can't believe that team won. Oh, this show was so good. Basically, like, it, I think it was like little, they'd make little creatures fight each other, but like the people, the two teams would like create the little creatures and oh, it was fantastic. Oh. Massive new contest table. I used table, to think they were real as well. A brand new Bernard. I, this, Look this at is that really not reflecting Rich. well on my, on my IQ fantastic. as a Fantastic. We've also got great new games, Jake. We've got Soup Marbles. Yeah, so they'd have Soup two great. that would fight like that. I want to see them fight. Some yeah, they, they can fight and I genuinely and thought these things were real. Way down the table. Very similar How speed as they cross in the middle. Flame seems to have got his centre direction a bit wrong and that means Krabby, although slightly slower, can now really Release Fang and Fang goes straight for crap. Oh, he went for Flame and he's gone straight off the table. This it's means so it's so a clear good. run for Who's Krabby. Win? I don't know where Go Flame's on, gone. Seems to be hiding behind the box. I don't know as what Krabby the gets there. Great start. As an adult, I have no clue what is going on. So how did I understand this as a child? It was so good. <gasps> There's been great shows, there's been great movies, but nothing quite like Balamori. How did they think of this? A place with different colour buildings with the sweetest people on earth? Or up to the castle inventing with Archie, he's ever so clever and ever so watchy. Archie, who lived in a pink castle. Imagine living in a pink castle above everyone else. They're such so nostalgic. Hello, <laughs> I'm Miss Hilly, and what's your name? Cam. Oh. My name's Cam. Cam, Cam. So, name. what's the story in Balamori? Well, today in Balamori, you can certainly feel the weather because it's a cold day. <sighs> what? This is great. Oh, look! A packet of toothbrushes. <laughs> <laughs> this woman is impressed by everything. Everybody, everyone. Come inside and join the fun. I haven't watched this for, what, like 15 years? How did I know the words off by heart? That is, that is weird. <gasps> this is what I think it is. Ah, ah, come on in. But hush up. I've got too much to do before the next unfortunates arrive. Oh my god, you know how the last video we did, Grizzly Tales for Goosome Kids, this was arguably on the same level as it. This is the best, the best kids TV show that there's ever been. Trapped. Did you, did you, please say you watched this, because this was so scary. Basically, like, I'm trying to think of the concept, but I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, loads of kids went into, like, this, like, weird tower and had to do loads of challenges, and, like, if they failed, I used to believe they would actually stay there. For years, mobbing craftful of unfortunates have been coming to the tower. Imprisoned at the top, they work to pass the challenges and escape each floor. For each challenge, a new saboteur is chosen. You are the saboteur. Only one will escape with the key of freedom, and the rest remain trapped! <laughs> Great concept. I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm hooked. I'm watching one. Joseph, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail <laughs> this challenge. 
You must make sure the body is not complete at the end of two minutes. During the power <laughs> cuts, you can release the- Joseph's like, his heart's going like- And they will seek to destroy the body. Do not panic. I will guide you through your whisper clip. This is body shock. To pass, you must have completed the body at the end of two minutes. Oh, okay. Let the challenge begin. So a fairly easy challenge, no! and it's down to Joseph to make sure they don't give up. Actually, what is this? Joseph, help me. Turn it. Oh, is it pitch black? Oh, well, that's The bufferers are out. Joseph, let the botherers destroy the body. You get back into the same position. This is so scary. I know these are paid actors, but as a child, I genuinely believed these people were real and were just trapped in this house. This is so sinister. When the lights come back on, remember to look shocked. Yes! <laughs> Help the others get them back into the <sighs> cage. Now get to the body. Look like you're helping the others. Come on, Joseph. They've almost completed the body, but don't worry. There's another power cut coming now. I don't know. Joseph, Wait, ribbon Joseph, this. don't ribbon be this, too hasty. Come on, Joseph. Quietly. Here God, they Joseph, come. Lad. Yes. Oh, so he opens the gate for these people to come out of. This is so freaky. I want to see if they catch him. You must now vote for who you think the saboteur was. <laughs> this is so good. Joseph. I want to go on this show who now. Who do you think the saboteur was and why? I think the saboteur was Elvira because when Blackout ended, she was always by the things have been moved. God, Joseph. Taylor. Nice. Who do you think the saboteur was? I think it was Joe because I could hear his footsteps um, at the side of me. Well, that's not a good reason. So, uh, disqualified. Get out. I thought the saboteur was Joseph because he was always near the cage when the... Shut up, Jonah. Shut up. You're wrong. You have voted for... Joseph streaming. Joseph. I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact... <laughs> Joseph. Joseph. You will not be leaving this room. <laughs> the others are free to pass to the next floor. Poor unfortunate Joseph. So you're trapped! <laughs> she said the thing! She said the thing! If they do a reboot of this show, I want to be the person that says that. Anyway, if you would like to watch episode one of this, where we reacted to more unhinged children's TV shows from Britain, click right here. Click it. Click it.